Well, hello, scrappers, and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another Eco Goldex short. Um, another short video on using Eco Goldex Gold Stripper. I've got several others out there. I'll put links to them up at the top as we go. Um, this is this is kind of a mystery short. Um, this is well, I've been using Eco Goldex for a few years now, and I've seen some strange and strange things that I just can't explain. So I don't know, maybe somebody out there has a good idea of what's going on here, because I really have no clue. Um, in this beaker are some pink crystals. And they were left in the bottom of the beaker where I just recently um, dissolved some uh, cement gold from Eco Gold X. I cemented it out with zinc. I dissolved the excess zinc away with hydrochloric acid. I put the remains from that, the black particles that are obviously the metal that's been cemented out on the zinc, didn't dissolve in the, in the hydrochloric acid. I put them in the beaker, treated it with aqua regia. I got some gold. Gold's over here in this other beaker. So I got some gold. But strangely, there's also these pink crystals, which were left in the bottom of the beaker. They, I'm not sure at what point they precipitated out of the liquid. Did it happen during the zinc cementation? Did it happen in aqua regia? I am not sure. But these were left in the bottom after the treatment with aqua regia. So they don't dissolve in aqua regia. And right now, I am cooking them in hot, dilute nitric acid. And that doesn't seem to be touching them either. So I don't know what they are or where they came from. They're very heavy crystals. They're almost as heavy as metal. So I'm thinking they must be some sort of metal salt. Um, beyond that, I don't know. It's just kind of strange that they have you know, and this is not the first time I've seen them. They showed up before. I've seen them before. But usually they wind up just getting captured on a filter with the rest of the debris, and really, I forget about them. This time there was a lot in the bottom of the beaker. And um, after I filtered the aqua regia to drop the gold, I wanted to see just what this stuff was, because I could see it on the bottom of the beaker. It almost looked like gold on the bottom of the beaker, because it's got sort of a pinkish red color and, and with the uh, deep yellow brown liquid on top of it it was it, it almost looked like gold on the bottom of the beaker that wasn't dissolving so I wanted to I wanted to save it and get a look at it and said oh it's not gold it's those pink crystals again what are they and where do they come from so anybody out there who, who, who might have an idea what these pink crystals are uh, feel free to leave a comment and uh, you know let me know your opinion but uh, they're pretty inert you know, aqua regia doesn't touch them. Hot dilute nitric's not touching them. Um, I assume hydrochloric won't touch them since uh, aqua regia didn't. So, don't know what they are. Anyway, I just thought I would share this with you in case you're out there using Eco Gold X and you see the same thing. You might wind up with insoluble pink crystals um, in your beaker with your aqua regia. So anyway, I hope you found this video interesting, informative, educational. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to see future videos. There'll be more Eco Gold X shorts. There'll be more uh, videos on other aspects of gold recovery and gold refining. Subscribe to see those future videos. Press the little bell icon. YouTube makes you press to be notified when videos come out. And thanks for watching. Bye.